Hey guys, and welcome back to Zeldude's Play The Minish Cap. This time, we're headed to Mount Krennel. I like the music of this, very, like, driving and epic. Let's go yeah. here. Oh my god, yeah, because it takes the... Is it? Oh, it's almost like a remix of... Oh, um... The main theme, the... the dun, 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 dun. I oh, felt like I heard that for yeah. a sec. Uh-huh. But then You're right. it's, like, completely altered to sound slightly... It's still really good. It's so good. Um, cave just these. Just... Oh no, that was the that's the bottle. Obviously, we need the bottle for this. Um, mm. Yeah, you're right. I thought it, I thought you were um, later on in the game. Uh, what am I doing? Later on in Mount Crenel, Crenel, whatever. Actually, there's uh, there is a remix of a classic Zelda song which I, I really love. Um, mm. Which we'll, we'll see in a second. I'll point out when we get there. Yeah. But you're right. This is. It does kind of include elements of the main theme. Da, da, yeah. Da, da, yeah. Uh, I, it's so nice. So we, and here again, everything like kind of like not necessarily bit yet, crushed, but, but like the I, I call it like I don't know the pixely style sounding. You can't have uh, pixely's visual. But I know. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh -huh. Yeah. Like. All, all of these tracks, you know, like you know, like I referenced before, like how we can hear certain themes. It's so nice to hear them in a, the Game Boy style. Like they actually sound so good. Um, There's yeah, so fair, no so point. Can, do you? Um, yeah, you don't use no point using. Because I need, but you could. I need the yeah, bottle need, in a minute. Yeah. yeah, there's no point putting one. In. It's good to know that that's there though. Uh, mm -hmm. Tech types in this game yep. are really obviously obvious. as annoying as always. They, yep. they have to be. They transitioned well from 2D to 3D. They they do the exact uh -huh. same thing. Just jump around yep. and be annoying. Um, so this is something I I'm pretty sure that this sign isn't in the European version of the game. I was talking to you a bit before we hit record. There's a few weird things that aren't in the European edition. One big problem is that you can't get the full bomb bag in the PAL release for whatever reason. Um, uh -huh. But another one. This sign, which says "Beware Crumbling Walls," I don't think that exists in the PAL version. It might, and I might be misremembering, uh -huh. but I'm pretty it's like, sure it isn't. To tell it's you quite to bomb important. this, yeah. it's hinting that you should bomb here. Which yeah. now, now you know that there's a bombable wall here. You start looking out for where these stakes are in the ground. There's a few other places where there's kind of stakes. Um, it, but. It, but you know, most of the walls, all the walls we've bombed before this have been very obviously bombable walls. So yeah, if you don't have that sign and it's your first time playing, you're not going to know to bomb that wall. Yeah. It's, um, it, it is something that you pick up at once you get used to. It's like a Zelda cliche, but like, yeah, it, weird how they don't have that. I wonder if it's like, hmm, like, I mean, and you can't patch it because like, we have once Oh yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Once the cartridge is shipped, the cartridge is shipped. Yeah, that's interesting. Uh, quite a cool other transition here. Yeah, so this is a different one. Yeah, we enter a giant rock, and it's cool oh, that you can see, like, right. the, the gems within it. It's, it's so, um, so cool. Immediately, I forgot. Yeah, you I forgot to bomb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah it's cool. I love how he like, glows uh, like that, too. He looks like he's turning uh -huh. Super Saiyan or powering up or something. <laughs> yeah. Oh, his hat, like, that too. well, Ezlo, like, flapping around. Yeah, really cool. Mm -hmm. And this is oh, another one of those weird little uh, kind of minish corridors, I suppose. I don't know. There's a couple of these, but yeah. look at that. Look at that leaf. The, the, I love the visuals on this game. Yeah. But th Fanboying that's why it would benefit from a remake. Because imagine this kind of like remastered today. It could look even better, you know? Mm -hmm. So this uh, doesn't uh, yeah. make and much sense. The Mount Crenel water that you pick up, like so, you picked up probably a droplet, not even. <laughs> and but like yeah. then when you when you become normal again, it also increases in size. Yeah, yeah, that is weird. Um, but yeah, I know. I, I, I this game I think already looks amazing, and that's kind of why part of me doesn't want a remaster. But if they remaster the Minish Cap, I'm not gonna be upset. You know, <laughs> it's it's still it's the Minish Cap. It's still amazing, and uh, and. It, uh, wait, we we don't use this. No, we still got to do uh, this, right? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it's you know, if they more minish cap is not a bad thing, uh, and if they do remaster it, even if it loses some of this kind of pixel art charm, you know, I'll, I'll get over it. I think. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, no, it was. I mean. Oh, okay. <laughs> whoops. Okay, now you're taking fall damage. I guess I. Or maybe. Yeah. Only, I think. I wonder if it's only early on in the game they like give you like a grace period or something. Uh, yeah. Or maybe. maybe in the water. I don't know. Maybe you never take fall damage if you fall in water. I have no clue. Yeah, I'm not sure how it works. Uh, these guys are annoying. So yeah. these are helmosaurs, which are. A, oh. Okay, thank you, Aslo. <laughs> yeah. Which are quite a staple uh, in 2D Zelda. But they look way different in this game than what we <laughs> recognize uh -huh. them as. At least enough. But I'm specifically thinking of the Twilight Princess. Like, yeah. Oh Completely yeah, different. yeah, yeah. But these are. It's quite Wind Wakery with their these designs where they look yeah. quite menacing normally. Uh, with their pointy iron mask, but then as soon as you pull it off, yeah, it's like they're like, and they've got their little this, eye, and yeah, you like can even away. you can even kill these guys just by throwing oh, them into wow. a wall, which I think is yeah. quite cool. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, and here we get. Okay. So yeah, Eslo does the interrupt OG. actually more than I remember him doing. Open does, air, uh, the first open air of all time. No, okay, Wind Waker uh -huh. would have been it. No, it would have been Wind Waker with the deck. But yeah, you're right. But, Wind Waker has the Deku Leaf. Breath of the Wild Tears, the Kingdom have the Paraglider. Minish Cap, you just got Ezlo. You Ezlo, don't need anything yeah. else. <laughs> <laughs> this is really trippy to me, though, because, like, you know, the depth perception is kind of hard to tell in a yeah. top-down 2D game, but, like, you know. There's, there's a few well. instances where it... it um, there's one which we won't show off for a little while. There's one bit near Lon Lon Ranch where you have to use Ezlo to glide. And it, it does feel quite janky. You're right, there's not quite that depth perception uh, that mm -hmm. you need for it. Um, yeah. So here's another oh. thing that's quite hard to, to know. Uh, Again, unless you're you... used to that Zelda, you know, puzzle solving. Oh. You don't have any bombs. I'm out of bombs. Uh, yeah. There'll be some in... Uh, wait. Do they come out of pots, or will I have to go back down and buy them? I'm yeah, sure I have. I don't them. remember. Oh, oh yeah, well, there we this go. This is what I was saying. Those are the enemies. Yeah. They had the flies. Yeah. Uh huh. So like right now, we could just swap them away. Um, yeah. I'll, I'll have to come back for that. I don't think there's a. I'm not gonna get bombs from here, am I? Uh, no idea. But at least we can. At least we got. Yeah. Ooh, oh. Uh, I can't secret. remember what that is. That'll be like a minishes house, probably. We'll see. Uh-huh. Oh, and you open up that. Okay, might as well check both those out before we... Uh, oh. oh! Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. no, okay. That stays. They're small enough to, like, yeah, because the way you move in this game is, like, yeah. a tile-type movement, right? But it, if you're yeah. minish, it doesn't really apply. Hey, a red kinstone. Nice. Like, they, I love a lot of minish have these in their house, which I've always thought yeah. was quite cool. Just some kind of like glowing... Like a glowing shroom thing. Yeah. yeah. Water is life for our prenal... Krenel beans. I need to stop saying that one wrong. This is going to be like Fee Fi in the oh, Skyward yeah. Sword playthrough. At least I learned. Oh, great. Yeah. At least I learned that. I learned Fi, right? Not Fee, mm. apparently. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, you're not going to go the other way? Okay, well, let's check this out. And I like how there's still more oh, flies. Oh, no, you're right. Yeah, I'll do that in a second. There was another minish thing to check out over here. Yeah. Might as well. Mm. I like how rolling you cover so much ground still. Even as a minish. Kind of yeah, yeah. It's still the fastest way to travel until you get the Pegasus mm -hmm. boots. Even as Which, a yeah, it even is as nice. Because there's the rolling wasn't really a mechanic in top-down uh, Zelda games. And uh -huh. I guess Capcom, I'm not sure if it was Capcom's decision, but, you know, they probably thought, like, well, people love rolling and, you know, Zelda, so let's put it in this game. And it actually worked pretty well. Like, it's not needed. Don't get me wrong. It really isn't needed, but it's nice. It's appreciated. It's iconic, though. Yeah, you, yeah. you've got you've got to roll everywhere in a Zelda game. Mm -hmm. um, and especially because it is genuinely a lot faster, faster. than just walking. Yeah. Yeah. So you do end up just rolling everywhere, which, you know, especially with this one, which is a 2D Zelda, like we've been saying, with a voice for Link, which is weird. So you do end up hearing kind of, oh, right, I shouldn't. Oh wait, you don't want to do that yet. Yeah, no, I wasn't thinking. So you do hear him just kind of hup, hup in a way as yep. he makes his way through Hyrule. Which is weird how it's become such a Zelda staple. You know what, bring, bring it back, Nintendo. Like Yeah, right, it's, it's weird that you can't in Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah. Um, and I thought it'd be, But it's it'd be also good weird that he does well. it. But it's still a weird concept. Like, imagine right now seeing a warrior in a sword and shit. I can't could you pick that up. Like, what the hell? Okay. Yeah, because later in the game, we get an item that allows Link to, you know, have increased strength so he yeah. can do things like this. But yeah, apparently this is deceptively light. 
Yeah, should. but you could look at it as like Link maybe has is the same strength of a normal human, but like uh, since he's yeah, the size maybe. of a minish, he's able to do that. Um, I don't. They don't really explain it to us, but um, mm. yeah. But just imagine like seeing a you know warrior, whether dressed in green or whatever, just with a sword and shield, doing just rolling, ha 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 ha. You know, just <laughs> yeah. constantly, like how silly <laughs> that would be. <laughs> oh, thank God! I thought I missed then. Oh, I, like thought, I, I thought I just emptied it on the floor. Yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll come back to uh, the place over there with with bombs yep. when we find more, which I'm sure they'll be. I can, I'm sure you can get them from pots and things like that. Or yeah, here, throw those. Or, or, or have a move like that. Uh, yeah, these are weird guys. I wonder what, again. I, I wonder what these guys are called. Um, no. It will be interesting getting all the figurines, at least to just find out what some of the random enemies are called. So that's yeah. one thing that old games used to do it, and it's not really a thing for newer games, but one thing that made the credits cool in older games was it'd go through and show you all the names of the enemies you'd been fighting all throughout. You know, like in like Mario games or whatever, it's the only time you'd ever learn what I'm doing. It's the only time you'd yeah. ever learn what certain enemies are called is in the end credits. Yep, uh, or, again, or another back okay, in the day thing you would that. do. Uh -huh. Another thing you would do back in the day as well is uh, just read the manual and usually you'd have like a bunch uh -huh. of tidbit and like, you know, enemy information and stuff like that. So you'd also learn it from that. But it's kind of sad because nowadays, let's be honest, most people buy their games digitally, but like we're playing this digitally through Switch Online for those wondering yep. how we're playing it. But like, um, yeah, even even if you were to buy the game physically, you know, like uh, Breath of the Tears of the Kingdom, you're not going to get a manual in the box I know. anymore. Game manuals, there's a, a lost art. It used to be great, yeah. like, uh, you'd, you know, you'd go to the, the game shop, buy a new game, and, like, in the way home on your uh, on your parents' car. Yeah, right, you'd yeah. read it. On the way home, excitement. in your parents' yeah. car, exactly. Yeah, you read yeah. the manual, get all excited. Ah, right, so I do need to go restock bombs, unfortunately, which is very annoying. Really? Oh, uh, you I, can't resume? Well, unless there's anywhere you can think of that I could grab some... Wait, why, why do you need some up ahead? Can't you climb that, or I'm... I'm... No, you need to get the grip ring to, to climb this stuff. Oh, like, oh, I already forgot you're right. So, and then it's like, okay, yeah. there's a bombable. Yeah, uh, I see. But yeah, the bomb, there's a few spaces now that I need to bomb. So I'm pretty sure the Deku scrub at the bottom will sell you them. Uh, but yeah, annoyingly, I have to go all the way down. Can I get down this shortcut even without the grip ring? Can you go down? I think you can jump. No, you can't go oh, no, down. you can't. Wow, okay, Wait, I'm going really? along you, you would have thought they would have supplied the player with bombs. I, I don't think I've ever came across this issue. Yeah, unless there's a way to stock up on them that I, I can't think of at the moment. Like, mm -hmm. I'd have thought they'd have put them in like uh, in the breakable rocks or whatever. But anyway, it, it doesn't take long to backtrack here. Oh, whoops. Okay, we do I guess that. we're doing this for exactly. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's not far to the... I'm sure this guy sells you bombs. Oh, okay. Uh, the the Deku Scrub Merchant, or uh -huh. yeah. I think I remember this happening to me before. Let's go see what he says. Oh, it's going to be very annoying if he doesn't. Mm -hmm. No, he doesn't. Oh. Okay, well, there has to be some in here. You know, the good old. Uh, <laughs> the old cut the grass trick. No. Yeah. No. Wait. Ah, uh, there must be. Maybe it's one up on the mountain then. I remember there being a Deku scrub that sells you bombs. Um, well, I'm going to have to go... I might have to go to the, the shop in Hyrule Town. I don't know. I've never had to do that before. It's the only place I can think of to grab bombs quickly. Oh, it doesn't Which take is a weird. Got like, is there really no bomb drops? That's uh, that's never not been a thing in Zelda. Like, huh? Yeah. Uh, well, the shop... I'm almost certain will sell bombs, so... Yeah. Oh. You have to spend a uh -huh. pretty yeah, penny. Like, what? Probably... Oh, I like how you carry him like you do in Link's Awakening as well. Yeah. You can't rob him in this game, though, unfortunately. 30 rupees. That is... Yeah, pricey. steep. Uh-huh. Yeah. But he knows he's cornered the market because he's hidden all the bombs from elsewhere. So we have yeah. to come to him. He's got a monopoly on bombs. Mm -hmm. anyway, and Link is the only one who is going to buy him anyways, though. <laughs> yeah, right? What other resident here needs bombs? Like, I'm trying to uh -huh. think of what would be the reason. 
I'd be slightly worried if anyone but Link was buying bombs. I'm slightly yeah. worried when Link buys bombs, especially when <laughs> I'm the one on the sticks. But yeah, if, if just random citizens are buying bombs, it's not not what you want. Yeah. Right, let's make our way back at the mountain. I have, That's always I been a thing in all RPG shops. Like the stuff they sell is only for the player. <laughs> and it's like, uh -huh. you know, I don't think anyone else buys the stuff you're selling. Oh, I'm. Oh it's here. my God! How much is it's he selling? It's here. For? I remember. Oh. He better sell them for. Yeah, it's the same price. price. Ah, it's the same it's price. Fine. Okay. You're fine. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, who oh. wants to fuse? Well, huh? I, I don't know. You probably. I doubt you have it, but I think you want to fuse. Oh, did he? Well, unless it's that red one I just picked. No, okay. No. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I remember it being a Deku scrub. That's so annoying. Oh well. Uh -huh. But yeah, it, but it's it not didn't like you make get a sense, discount, there was, so it, yeah. there was no way to get it on Mount Crenel, yeah. So yeah, you didn't have to run back to Hyrule Town, but oh well. But let's be honest, the amount of backtracking you're doing to get to him would have been the same. Like, it didn't take you that long to get back here, but it's taking you longer now because you have to literally scale the uh -huh. mountain again. Um, yeah. So which is a shame we don't have a shortcut. Also, since we're playing on Switch Online, Sometimes there can be prompts on the screen, so you might want to make sure you turn that off next time. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, yeah, wait, this. It's over here that we missed this. Uh, okay, right. So now okay, we've got yeah, our bomb bombs. all the areas. Yeah. We can actually do this. Yeah, so this is, yeah, very inconspicuous. But yeah, you're right. If you played a Zelda game, you'd be confused if you walked up here and you just saw these two Nothing. trees and a blank wall. Nothing. It Exactly. Right? Uh-huh. Yeah. But yeah, this is another piece of art. They off. are—they do just put them everywhere here. Mm -hmm. But it's oh, nice. Okay, right. It's, it's, a, it's you know, it. you want to collect stuff, and it, it's the most valuable collectible. It's better than having to collect my mines. Well, no, I have to get an upgrade <laughs> out of it. But you get my point. Like, better than collecting uh -huh. Korok seeds. There we go. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now everyone will agree with that, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I do miss pieces of heart though in uh, in the open air Zelda's. I would like eventually for them to yeah, it would give you uh, hey, bring them the back. game is all about collecting in random parts of the map. They should have done that instead of locking behind shrines because then it would have given us something more to collect and more reason to repurpose the overworld to other, you know, things to solve and things to find. So yeah, 100%. exactly. Because it kind of yeah. breaks everywhere up everywhere up into like mini puzzles. Yeah, which yeah just isn't a thing. Um, well, I suppose you know that's what Korok seeds and um, and you get bombs. So now of I'm course. getting bombs. <laughs> Screw this game. Now, now it's giving you bombs. Uh huh. Okay. But yeah, that's what uh, like you know Addison and Korok seeds and whatever are for is to break the overworld up. But you know, pieces of heart are just such a satisfying reward. Yeah, no, it is the dopamine you get from a piece of heart versus an Addison puzzle solving. Bull crap! No, <laughs> man, like, it's completely different. Like, uh, especially Addison, because he only on. ever gives you a meal, and it's never a meal that you want. It's always it's a some... meal. It's some rupees. It's always three. It's three things: a meal, oh, rupees, and one random piece of treasure. I might have thing? done that wrong. Oh no no, and uh, and sleep uh, in tickets, like a sleep uh, free oh, sleepover uh, ticket. Yeah yeah yeah. Yeah, but yeah, still, it's useless. It's the same. Uh, things just rehashed and overall it's just, yeah let's be honest it's always more satisfying to get a piece of heart because you know oh i just got more of my life i got you know i'm stronger um i always hated these puzzles. oh again yeah i always do these sliding block puzzles wrong in every can game you slide any in. of them at any direct can you slide any of them or is it like specifically no, locked to one oh okay it's let's just give like you more it. bombs because you'd be they respawn put the one bomb in the yeah, middle right? yeah right Elite, yeah. This pot seems to always be five bombs. Uh, wait, so so I did do it right in the last. Have there I done? Go. Oh, there we go. Oh, so I don't know why that took so, me so long. <laughs> so you can push him in any direction. I thought you couldn't push him in any direction, but you can. Uh, okay. Anyway, time for some more Ezlo flying. <laughs> I love the way he looks when he's all inflated. Yeah, <laughs> that's so cool. It's again, it's um, it's. Because Ezlo, in, in concept, is the coolest Zelda companion in the sense of, like, it literally, it's the missing thing Link is missing, you know? It's exactly. Uh-huh. But, um, 
You know, and it, it would have been cool to see Nintendo do more stuff like that. I mean, five, it's funny, we go from five being the sword, Link's iconic sword, the trusty sword he can't leave, and then his hat, mm -hmm. and it's, it is pretty cool. I would love to see Link be more, uh, you know, ob inanimate objects that you find throughout the world, <laughs> like Link's companions be stuff like that. Uh-huh. I know what you mean. Um, <laughs> especially, like I, I do like the way that, especially just giving his, like, classic equipment, like, uh, a little Purpose bit of a story. and reason, yeah, uh -huh. like and, and like uh, uh, giving it a uh, becoming a sentient being. They literally are living beings among you. Uh, yeah, but they're also just your everyday item Link uses. Like, it, let's be honest, it would be cool to have a shield, like an uh, ultra sacred shield, be a a spirit within it or something. I think, yeah, I think they could. Backstory for the Hylian shield would work, I think. Yeah, wow, like a true Hylian, a noble Hylian warrior whose spirit resides in the shield, an unbreakable will that joins, uh, whatever, it's not gonna happen, but <laughs> I can dream. I, I think, uh, you know, counterpart to Skyward Sword, why not? Grounded yeah. shield. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Yo, I like that. <laughs> Maybe not that. The Legend of <laughs> don't Zelda. Write, don't write that down. Shield. <laughs> <laughs> I hate tech types. Okay. Yeah. Hey, and oh, another nice. one. See, another they're, they're one. everywhere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Only one more and we're at... Oh, now I don't think I need a bottle for a while, so... Nope, okay. Again, hearing this... Uh, pixel... Oh, the fairy pixel fountain music, yeah. Yeah. Really uh -huh. nice. But these are the Wind Waker fairies, uh, in that they're yep. just kind of little people uh, who yeah, don't want to be girls. trapped in a bottle. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Unlike in um, in like the other Zelda games, where just like little specks of light. But you could believe you you could say, oh, maybe that's how they look like really up close. You know. Um, uh huh. It's just we never know because we never really got to see them up close. But I like to believe that. I like to believe all fairies are just like these little human with wings, uh, like Tinker Bell yeah. or something. Like in a in the Zelda cartoon, like she's it's, uh, Navi or is it even Navi in the Zelda cartoon? Or no, it's just fairy. Uh, no, it's just, it's just a fairy. Um, you're right. It is. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But yeah, you're right. It's just basically Tinkerbell, mm -hmm. which uh, which is at least in Ocarina of Time that was originally the idea that you know that Link is so heavily based on Peter Pan. Yep. Why not give him his Tinkerbell? Oh, my oh really? God, I thought he was Tinkerbell. based off Berserk, and that's what. <laughs> it's, it's based off guts, yeah. Yeah, guts, you know, with the fairy. There we go. That makes more really? sense. I don't, oh, okay. Here you go. Yeah, the Kren Krenel Hermit. I like how it just plays the house okay. theme every time you enter an NPC indoor yeah, area, his, even if it's a cave. This is his house. Are you judging yeah. his <laughs> interior decoration? <laughs> Not much going on, but... Uh, no. Whatever. So he wanted a green... Kinster. That's it is difficult sometimes. It does get a bit tedious with remembering who wanted to fuse what. Oh, one hundred percent. You do have to backtrack. You have to, you know. Eventually, I'll get that kinstone, and I know as soon as I get it, I'll have forgotten who wanted it and, and whatever. Yeah. Uh, P hats are obviously as annoying as ever. Just like the uh, the Wind Waker, you need to. I don't know what the term would be. Kind of. Destroy their propellers first. I don't know. Uh -huh. And oh man, this jump ah. to sleep. Whoa! And then it goes. Wow, this is so cool. This is uh -huh. a great atmospheric transition. And this is the, great. The, and the ground or like the the landscape in the background as you made that jump. So. Cool. Oh, it's so cool. And then oh, the link to the past. Exactly. Yo. This is the the remix I was on about. This is the uh, uh, a link to the past kind of opening music, or it also plays on Death Mountain in in a link to the past, right? Um, yeah. Yeah, really cool. Definitely a link uh -huh. to the past remix, anyway. And this game interesting does do quite a lot. It does remix older Zelda songs all throughout. Oh, yeah, <laughs> even even raindrops damage us here because we're so yep. small. Yep. Showing you, like, yeah, how, how small you really are. But uh -huh. I love, yeah, this transition in, like, the, the weather as well. Like, you're on a different part of the mountain. Yeah, so cool. So cool. Um, uh -huh. But yeah, no, I've got to push wait, it. Wait, I always oh, thought the, oh, okay. the design of these boulders look a bit weird. Like yeah. they're not round. They're kind of I don't know, like lumpy. They look a bit like um, Gollum, you know, the Pokemon. 
like, they yeah. look, like his his body. But, was but, that. but they do look 3D when you rotate them. Like there, it's cool concept with how the uh, the sprite work. Like see, like yeah. how it rotates oh, yeah. like that. Um, it gives it that 3D vibe. Uh -huh. um, Which is something I think this game did really well. Like like we were saying in Deepwood Shrine, the barrel is really cool. Um, mm -hmm. Just everything about this game, visually amazing. It's on the Game yeah, Boy Advance, it, and it, it just was looks like, this Because it, it was an evolution from the SNES. Well, you can consider the Game Boy Advance the portable SNES. And like by then, they had mastered that 16-bit style graphic that they were able to do a lot of yep. cool and innovative things. That's why even to tell today, when you see games that look like this, they always look like they still look really good because pixel art truly is a form of art style now that uh -huh. we look at and it, it's yeah it's like you can you because like, a lot of people might look at this like oh this is outdated this is you can literally see the pixels on the screen but it's like no you can look at it as an actual art form an art style yeah yeah and, it's it's timeless uh, it, I yeah think, have i okay I think I got it. okay no 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 no, no you're no. good oh, you're it. good yeah Ooh. I was going to have to reset it. But yeah, t pixel art is timeless. This game will never age. Like it, it always looks, you know, as good as it did when it came out. Just because I think pixel art is, I don't like you said it. Yeah, it is. Now it's kind of a stylistic choice. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't it just means, limitations. Uh huh. Like I think a link to the past, like we've been saying, is one of the best looking Zelda games. Um, Super Mario World is. Probably my favorite looking, at least 2D Mario game. I think mm -hmm. Mario World looks better than all of the the other 2D games, except maybe Wonder does look very nice, but still, like the classic uh, pixel art of Super Mario World just means that it still looks insane, even though it's like 30 whatever years old. Yep. Yeah, I, I would say in general, chat. once Nintendo reached the SNES phase, uh, the pixel art became timeless, but let's be real. NES, those games truly look outdated. And yeah, yeah. I think that's uh, there's not enough. Uh, the eight bit era, yeah, the eight bit era just didn't give them. It enough. truly gave them limitations. Sixteen bit era, you know, it doubled the pixels. It, it was all they needed. Um, exactly. Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure the the Game Boy Advance is sixteen bit, right? Just like the Game Boy Color was eight. Yeah, I want to... Oh, wait, I needed a pot. Um, I want to say you're right. Yeah, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, that, so it, this, it looks amazing. And this, this is the first game I properly... Um, so like, I got a Game Boy Advance. I got like the SP. Uh, I don't know wh what birthday... Oh. <laughs> right, okay. Stand even closer um, to the edge. Uh-huh. Closer. There you go. Nope. Really? Wait, is that what? Oh, no. Throw a bomb. A bomb. Throw, duh. Yeah. The game told you. Yeah. <laughs> um, see, I got the, the Game Boy Advance SP, but I, I got the Mario one. I got the one that came with Mario vs. Donkey Kong, um, uh -huh. which is another game I love just because, you know, it was one of my childhood Speaking of games. remakes, so you much. got that remastered, right? Sp speaking of Remade remakes, exactly. Entirely. Um, yeah. But it was my brother that got the the gold Game Boy Advance SP that came with the Minish Cap. Nice, um, nice. It's funny because when I so my birthday was like a, a couple of months before um, my brother, so oh. I got the Game Boy Advance SP uh, with Mario vs Donkey Kong, and he was so so jealous. You know, he, he said it was one of the worst days of his life was when I unwrapped <laughs> it and got a Game Boy Advance SP and he didn't have one. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then for a month or two, you know, I was the king. I had my Game Boy Advance. Then he got the Zelda one, and that gold Triforce Minish Cap uh, Game Boy is just so nice. Mm. Uh, and then I was jealous after that because I think that that's was one probably of Nintendo's still... best exclusives. Like... Exactly. I think that is probably still my favorite uh, like Zelda. Really? You, you know what my console. favorite one? It's funny. It's it's very you, reminiscent maybe? of yours. Um, oh yeah. Can you guess? Uh, it's the one right after that gold. one. Though yeah, it'll oh. follow up. The DS. The Phantom Hourglass uh -huh. DS, yes. The, yep. the, oh, so beautiful. Um, yeah. I wish I had that. Yeah, yeah, no, I didn't get that one. Um, mm -hmm. I miss, yeah, I do miss them doing kind of gold controllers and gold consoles. Well, technically the Tears um, of the Kingdom one is gold, right? Gold and green, but gold, with white. Yeah, but uh, uh, you're right, a bit green and, you know, it's, it's not quite... I think they could have gotten away with it just being gold with a Triforce on it. Or... Uh -huh. Or that weird Tears of the Kingdom symbol, you know, the one that looks like a, a pine cone uh, or a lotus flower or whatever. 
Mm -hmm. I think they could have got away with it just being gold. But um, anyway, here we are with with scaled Mount Crenel. Yep. And here we are in Malari, Malari's, Malari, Malari's miners. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ting along, tong along, dig along for iron. Okay, so the minish <laughs> need yeah. iron apparently. So again, these are different looking Pecori, but they're they're a lot cooler uh -huh. looking. You know, the minor ones and. Uh, I love their animation when they're mining like that. I mean, think of how little damage they're doing. It's like denting and that's mining. You know what I'm saying? Like, these are pebbles <laughs> yeah. that are mining. <laughs> yeah. And then we it get this guy who's just kind of a, a massive one for some reason. Yeah. Just a giant he's, st Picori. he's still a minish, I guess, but uh -huh. a different one. He's, but he's Malari the Master Smith. These are his, mm -hmm. his mines. But you're right, I, I do like how the, the Picori, the Minish, whatever, have different designs for different kind of places in the world. So yeah, these are the, the Krenel Minish, and they're very different to the, the Forest Minish, who are different to the Town Minish. It's just cool. Yep. Yep. Okay, and since he so is, he uh, to... their miner is a blacksmith. Yeah, look at, oh, it's so cool. Look at, you're forging it back, but it's going to take a uh -huh. while, sadly. So we've got to look for the so, next yeah. element. So yeah, we're stuck with the smith sword for a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. Let's see if this guy will move. There and yeah, go. now it's time to okay. enter the mines. These mines are gonna be the next uh, major dungeon, but this time we're gonna it's gonna all it's gonna be a bit different. So unlike before where the first dungeon was completely in the minish and it was just like, you know, a different way of tackling it, this will kind of marriage both concepts. We're gonna see the minish aspect, but we enter it as a normal size highlight. Yeah. So yeah, we'll See you in the next episode for the I've forgotten what it's called. The uh Cave of Flames. There you go. Dungeon yeah, 2. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> the yeah, next dungeon. Next yep, thanks for watching everybody.